Look at this contraption that Jack brought. He's got a crab net attached to a piece of wood with a spear at the end. I'm not sure what he's trying to accomplish there. I can do there. crabs on this side, or I can do rays on this side. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is hilarious. <laughs> All right, guys, all right, all right. So it was like the other night and Brant sent me this video of this humongous stingray. I mean, it was dynamic, let me tell you. And this thing was so big, I just, it, things started clicking my head that can you eat this thing? And I had to tell Brant, we had to go out there and catch one of these things. Like this is YouTube material. So we, we decided to go, we're gonna go today and it's gonna be awesome and uh, hopefully they bite. If not, I'm sure we can make a good day of it. So I just met Brant up here and we're going to hunt a stingray. And I got an idea. So I got my crab net here and I need a spear. Got my uh, Hawaiian spear gaff, hashtag detachable. I got the strongest gorilla tape known to man. Look at this contraption that Jack brought. He's got a crab net attached to a piece of wood with a spear at the end. I'm not sure what he's trying to accomplish there. I can do there. crabs on this side, or I can do rays on this side. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is hilarious. The goal today is pretty modest. We're going for the world record stingray. Yeah, That's it. I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> <laughs> I've never really had stingray before, but I hear it's amazing. And there's some ginormous ones in the bay and the gulf right now. So, you know, if it's gotta get physical, or if I need a side item of crab, but this is basically duct tape on a on a Hawaiian spear gaff. It's probably gonna last like three throws. I'm either gonna lose it, but on the up and up, it might float. <laughs> so here we go. All right, so it's a tad rough out here. We've got the first bait in the water. Brant has got it out there. We're looking for a humongous stingray. We've got the uh, eye pilot going on here. It's working hard, wind's blowing pretty hard. We're out here at a buoy system. And this is a ginormous hook. Never not wear shoes on Brant's boat. Okay, it's life in your own hands because stuff like this is just chilling. It's all you, Brant. Dude, we got Bring one. We got one. He's already taken it, guys. The bait hasn't been out there, but literally like a couple minutes. Yeah. That got bit pretty good. Yeah, it got smoked. It just got smoked hard. You got him, Brad! Oh, he's on that time. He's on. He's on now. Got you a, a got, freaking snapper. Got you a snapper. On a shark rod. Guys, this is how thick these snapper are out here. We're like shark and stingray fishing on the bottom. We've got a red snapper. Like, we got one. I don't know if it's a good one or not. He's going up. Yeah, real fast to catch up with him. I think you got a shark too. We got two sharks in the boat. my rod. Uh, maybe another snapper. I don't know. I can't tell. It's def so definitely taking it. Yeah. Uh, he's off now. Good. We didn't want a snapper anyways. I don't know if it was a snapper. I can't tell. It's crazy that we're out here trying to catch an unregulated species and the snapper is so thick we keep catching snapper. They're like the pinfish of the Gulf. They eat everything. That's probably why they like almost limited them out a long time ago. That was huge. You think it was a shark? I think that was a stingray. It's like Megalodon hit it. So I think that's another stupid snapper though. That ain't, definitely ain't the fish we're after. That's okay. Starting to bite. I'm willing to bet this is a shark. Definitely is a stingray. Yep, it's a shark. It's a shark. It's a little one. 
the shark. Bring him up here. Hey, simmer down. Simmer down! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Another fish on. Yes. I thought he's coming up. All right, so I got a black tip on. He's jumped like three or four times, totally missed that on the... We're in a shark fest! Brant's got one. What's the uh, size on these they gotta be? Huh? Sweet, I'm keeping him! Would you rather keep him or a stingray? Rather keep a stingray, but... Do we know if we're gonna catch one? So here's Jack and his black tuff right here. I say since we're getting so much action right now, let's release him and let's try to get a big stingray. All right. All right, so we let him go. That was like our fifth shark. We've been slaying them. That was the black tip. They're good to eat. So are the sharp nose. But uh, it's just not on the species we're looking for. We want a stingray. So we're going to try. keep trying. But hey, I was hungry. Okay. What are you thinking? I was hungry. I got a banana on the boat. So we just caught three sharp nose in a row. Ooh. So we caught some nice, we've got some nice snapper and we caught a couple of, well, we caught those three uh, sharks, but we can't catch what we're trying to catch. We had one good run, but it's just no bueno right now. So this is gonna do it right here for, for this deep water shark fishing, guys. We have given it a valiant effort. And we have caught a lot of fish. Yeah, he's actually uh, taking drag. Shark, shark, shark. And that's because it's not a shark. What is it? I don't think. It's a big giant snapper. Oh, wow. Look at here. Look what a snapper. It's a nice one. Yeah, that's a good one. Look what a snapper. <laughs> So our safari out there in the deep water for a giant stingray came to a close because we ran out of bait. It wasn't but a fail though. It wasn't a fail. We caught a lot of fish. But uh, now we've come in shallow and we're going to see if we can sight cast one and kind of think we, I think we got a chance this way for a smaller one. All right, let me put the trolling motor down. So these stingrays are super prevalent in the shallow water. So if you're ever vacationing or you're just around here and you are fishing or wading in this type of stuff, do the, do the stingray shuffle, which is where you just kind of shuffle your feet along in the sand. So if you, because if, if you step on one of these guys, he's gonna stick his barb through you. And they're, uh, that's nasty, it's a trip to the hospital. And if they just slap you, well that hurts too, but if the barb goes in you, it's no bueno. Oh, he's going after it. He's going after it. No mono. There he is. I got him. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you I called it, I too. A, a freaking... I'm up here trying to look for a sting. No, it's a big trout, dude. Look at this. Did what? You see I just sight fished him. With no mono, too. It's still clear water, guys. I don't know if my GoPro was on or not. That's nuts. But literally, I just sight fished this freaking nice trout right here. What? No mono on either. <laughs> no fluoro here. I was sitting here with a sting, like trying to get a stingray. That's a boss too. I just sight fished this big sucker right here. That's nuts. That is a boss too. Yeah. Look it out. Check this out, guys. That was wild. I actually cannot believe this happened. We're in like a foot of water, looking for stingrays to sight fish. And I saw, I thought it was a red swimming down the sand and I threw a lure, a gulp shrimp right in front of him and he absolutely annihilated it. I want to get a measurement. This is a good one. Yeah, right that's here. a beast. Yeah. Bye fish. So that happened. Totally out here trying to catch a stingray and we just caught a boss speckled trout. With no, 
No mono, no nothing, just straight braid to jig head. Eat that fluorocarbon. So that was cool. There's two little ones right there. So our stingray didn't happen. But we did catch a big uh, speckled trout, he did. I, did. That, I could not believe this. Like, you, I come in this area and sight fish all the time. And usually these fish, especially middle of the day with a high sun, are not going to bite. And that trout, I mean, he just. I was like first cast, just first cast, it. first cast. So that was pretty cool. So we caught a bunch of caught a bunch of stuff. Caught a shark, a nice black tip shark, a like four or five sharp nose, and Some then red snappers. Red snapper, but it was a good day. It's a beautiful day out here. It's like 85, breezy. So we're just going to cruise in. Who knows what else will happen today. Uh -huh. 